Hello friends, back to problem analysis. It's me Jesse. If you are interested in problem solving and if you know the basic geometry, properties of tangents and the Pythagoras theorem, then here is an interesting problem. Consider a semicircle of radius 2 units. Another semicircle of half diameter is placed as shown in the figure. A circle is drawn inside that touches both the semicircles and also touches the diameter of the larger semicircle. Then my problem is, what is the radius of this circle? If you want to attempt the problem, pause the video and just give a try. And the solution is right here. First, let's analyze what are given in the problem. First of all, radius of the larger semicircle is 2 units. Secondly, the smaller semicircle is of half diameter as larger semicircle. And its diameter coincide with the radius of the larger semicircle. And finally, the circle touches both semicircles and the diameter of the larger semicircle. Now remember what is our aim of this problem. It is nothing but to find the radius of the circle. This is the structure of our problem, so always keep in mind. Before going to the explanation, we need to note two important results about tangent lines and tangent circles. Result 1. Consider two circles touching at some point externally. Then the fact is, centers of the circles and their touching point are collinear. If the circles are touching internally, that is one circle is inside the other, still the result is true. That is, centers and their touching point are lying on the same line. Now result 2. Consider a circle and draw an arbitrary tangent to the circle. Now draw the radius from the touching point of the tangent. Then the fact is, tangent and radius to the tangent are perpendicular to each other. Now come back to our problem and suppose radius of the circle is r units. Now consider the circle and the larger semicircle. They are touching each other. Then by the mentioned result about tangent circles, their centers and the touching point are collinear. Now it is given that the diameter of the larger semicircle is a tangent to the circle and the radius is drawn from its touching point. Then by the second result we mentioned, those two are perpendicular to each other. So clearly a right triangle is formed here. Now in the figure, this line is a radius of the larger semicircle and so equal to 2 units. But this part is a radius of the circle, so it is equal to r units. And therefore the hypotenuse of the right triangle will be 2 minus r. Now suppose base length of the right triangle is x. Then by applying Pythagoras theorem, x square plus r square equal to 2 minus r whole square. That is equal to 4 minus 4r plus r square. r square is cancelled out and we get x square is equal to 4 minus 4r. Coming back to the figure, we have diameter of the smaller semicircle is 2 units. And so, radius is 1 unit. Also, it is given in the problem that the smaller semicircle and the circle are touching each other. Then, again by the result about tangent circles, we can see that their centers and the touching point are collinear. Then, we can see another right triangle here. Look at the hypotenuse. The upper part is a radius of the circle, which is equal to r and the lower part is a radius of the smaller semicircle, which is equal to 1 unit. So the hypotenuse will be 1 plus r, and the base length is x plus 1. Then by applying Pythagoras theorem, we will get x plus 1 whole square plus r square equal to 1 plus r whole square. Now expand both sides of the equation. Left hand side become x square plus 2x plus 1 plus r square and the right hand side become 1 plus 2r plus r square. 
R square is cancelled out and then 1 is cancelled out. What remaining is x square plus 2x equal to 2r. That is 2x is equal to 2r minus x square. Now square on both sides of the equation. That gives 4x square is equal to 2r minus x square whole square. But we know that x square is equal to 4 minus 4r. Substitute that in our equation. So 4 into 4 minus 4r is equal to 2r minus 4 minus 4r the whole square. The right hand side simplifies to 4 into 3r minus 2 whole square. Cancel 4 and that gives 4 minus 4r equal to 9r square minus 12r plus 4. Again cancel 4 and finally this equation simplifies to 8r equal to 9r square. But here r is radius which is non-zero and positive. So we can cancel 1r from both sides of the equation and that will give 9r equal to 8 which implies r equal to 8 by 9 units. So in the diagram of our problem, radius of the circle is 8 by 9 units which is approximately equal to 0.8889 units and that is the solution we are looking for. And that's all about this video. My Gmail ID and Instagram ID are given in the description. So if you have any queries regarding the subject, please feel free to contact. Thank you so much for watching. Meet you in the next video with another interesting problem.